Well, it's been called the hardest thing to do in sports. Hit a baseball. And a new book takes a deeper look at how the brain makes that act possible. Pat Gallen put on the headgear and tested his skills against the best. So, Pat Gallen, what did you find? Well, what I found was a new appreciation for how hard the game of baseball is. So, oftentimes we examine athletes by their body type or how fast they run or how high they jump. But what about the brain? A new book digs deeper into the mind and what the future holds for neuroscience and athletics and how we can better understand what makes those hitters so good. Nationals pitcher Max Scherzer throws an average fastball of 94 miles per hour. Phillies outfielder Reese Hoskins has just 200 milliseconds to make a decision, swing or take. That's it. Hoskins has to make that determination in a speed quicker than the blink of an eye. And a new book, The Performance Cortex, examines how the human brain allows someone like Reese Hoskins to decipher that heater. I really wanted to know more about uh, the cognitive aspects of performance and what the brain does to control and coordinate uh, our movement and also the uh, extraordinary movement of, of the excellent uh, athletes that we watch and, and enjoy. Sean Brin says teams and athletes are now digging deep into the mind for ways to scout, analyze, and take sports to the next level. Until now, there has not been a way to actually quantify and analyze the role that the, that the brain and uh, the motor system is playing. And that's where a company like the Servo has been able to break through and uh, provide quantification. Sean Brin followed DeServo, a startup company headed by Jason Sherwin and Jordan Moraskin. The tandem built a platform called U-Hit as a way to peek into the head of a hitter. So think of it like baseball simulator for hitters, right? And so they simulate what it's like to be up at the plate, and we're measuring from how quickly they react to these pitches. They'll hit a button if they're doing it with EEG, or like in a bat, they'll hit a button on a bat. And then with the EEG, we're measuring the brain activity when they're making these quick decisions. Even Phillies manager Gabe Kapler has looked into DeServo's capabilities. He really understands, I think, holistically, like what players need. I mean, that's why he was in a player development role for so long. And we were doing the EEG originally. Uh, we got a real taste of where that might fit and where, you know, we had to, you know, adjust it and things like that. And I think I'll, I credit a lot of that to the insight he delivered to us. I also got a taste of how it fits. Wearing the EEG headgear, they tested my ability to decipher pitches on their platform. Oh, wow, I'm slow. Ooh, I don't like this hump. Pat, you're terrible at this game. Let's just say I won't be breaking into the big show anytime soon. The EEG system and you hit platform calculated my reaction time to be roughly 35 feet slower than a major league hitter in figuring out when to swing. That doesn't even take into account me actually swinging. Jason gave me a word of advice. You have a thing about sticking to your day job, I think, right? <laughs> making fun of me already here. The uh, <laughs> Performance Cortex is available now and examines topics like what makes Steph Curry a genius and how Tom Brady has essentially perfected football with his ability to find the open man on basically every throw he makes. The good thing is Tom Brady dropped that pass in the Super Bowl. But beyond that, really interesting stuff that they're doing there. And I do have a new appreciation for hitters. It's just so difficult to hit a baseball and to be yeah. able to do it as well as some of these guys. Really impressive. I would have never guessed that you were that much slower. Mm. I had so much faith in you. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, I didn't Pat. say that, Patrick.